today I am going to show you how to make this crate and cacti. I hope this will be a good addition to your future project. And here are the materials that you will be needing. So first, we are going to glue together the side support and also the 48 by 7 millimeter craft wood. So I assembled the slats by applying glue on one side of the side support and then followed by gluing the other end of the side support. After that, you can glue the two remaining slats in the middle making sure you have an even spacing between. And then make two of this. After the glue is dry, you can now connect the remaining shorter slats to complete the side of the crate. Just follow where the first two sides are so your slats will be even in all corners. And then lastly, glue the bottom slats. And then finish the crate by painting it with your favorite color or you can simply varnish it and just have the natural color. Next, we are going to make different kinds of cacti and uh, for this one, you will need yellow, green, and red polymer clay. First, take a green clay and then roll it to oblong shape. And then after that, you can pinch the sides making four corners in total. And when you are satisfied with how it looks like, you can set it aside and we will start working on the other part. Now take a piece of your red clay and then make a small and a big ball. Using a sculpting tool, create a line around the big and small ball. And then simply attach the big ball on top of the green clay and then the smaller ball on top of the big red ball. You can put as many balls as you like or if you want it to be bigger or smaller. And then set it aside and we will make another type of cactus. The second type of cactus we are making is the eponcha or the prickly pear. Here, you just need to flatten a small amount of clay in different sizes. 
In this case, I am only using about 3 leaves for the prickly pear, but you can make as many as you want. And after you have your flattened clay, you can connect them to each other. Just make sure that the biggest part would be the body. And then set it aside once you are satisfied with how it looks like. Next type is the barrel cactus. For this, you just need a small piece of polymer clay and shape it into tear. And then sculpt lines around the cactus and set it aside. The next plant I am making is not a cactus, but rather a succulent plant. To make the zebra plant, take a small amount of clay and roll it to make a snake. Focus on making both ends pointy. Cut them half and make more of this. After you have enough leaves, you can stick the blunt side together and make sure not to stick the pointy end because it would be a bit tricky to separate them. After making this, you can now bake this together with the other cacti according to your clay package instruction. After baking the clay and cold enough to handle, you can start painting the cacti. I just used a cream colored acrylic paint for all the plants and for the cacti, I simply painted dots on it and for the zebra plant, I painted lines to it. Let the paint dry and then you can now put your cactus in the pot. Now, um, I also have a tutorial on how to make a paper pot. Just click the link below to see how it is made. And here are the paper pots, which I filled with aluminum foil and then covered it with brown and reddish brown soft pastel and glue mixture. So here are our crates and cacti. I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial and hope you can apply this in your future project. Don't forget to click subscribe and get notified for new videos. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye!